Okay. Thank you for choosing to enable the director's commentary no. for Vox Folder, a game by Raelius and Bad Pun. We begin with the character, Vox Folder, FBI agent. Instead of creating a unique, original character, I co-opted a character from a popular IP and made slight, meaningless changes to him. This gave me more time to focus on the rest of the game. Okay, I don't... Uh, we'll just play with it on, I guess. I've never heard of this IP before, but, uh... Okay. And it allows for easier writing, as I can just make lazy references to the source material. Fans just love this crap. Okay, I don't think this is legal if you don't own the character. I learned something from YouTube videos about diegetic UI. Diegetic UI enables immersive storytelling by incorporating parts of the user interface in the narrative game world. I didn't actually understand what that means, so I just added random signs everywhere. Now I can use this hip gaming term in my marketing. Sure. The artist spent extra time drawing this piece, so I wanted to focus in on it some more by making the character walk slower through this part. It adds nothing to the gameplay, but I'm particularly married to it now that we spent so much time making it. Okay. The true Artor knows when to cut material just as he knows when to create. And to that I say, eh. Okay, I didn't realize this game was a joke. <laughs> Which sucks, because that opening rock song was cool. Why spend effort making novel gameplay mechanics when I can just mock the gameplay of better games that have come beforehand? In this case, I will attempt the tried and true method of making the player find keys to unlock doors in order to find more keys to unlock more doors. Yeah, wow, dude, you're so meta. Okay. To exemplify the horror motif, we place scary notes throughout the game that the player must collect. Gotcha. Ooh. I was with your mom last night. She made me cookies and you can't have any. Haha. -ha. Okay. I appreciate the humor, but I am. Freeze, mother father! You're under arrest, pal. A fitting end for our main antagonist. My friends and family really thought this was a great game and that I'm really smart, even though I just copied and pasted from tutorials. However, I wanted to add closure to the story, so this is the epilogue to our journey. By a jury of your peers, you have been found guilty of abduction and experimentation without consent. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Yeah, I did it, and I'll do it again! I'm a menace to society! Ain't nobody locking me up! I demand a trial by combat! Choose your champion, suckers! Very well. Fox Folder, am I correct in assuming you're ready to represent the courts in this request? I am. Very well. Proceed. Do I have to do something? Too soon? What? 
Okay, so there is actual gameplay. How long do I have to wait for? single solitary cut across the neck from it a sound like that of the wailing winter wind for a century i have visited your world and slaughtered your people in the very hope of hearing this sound but to have it come from my own neck is ridiculous Fast Fobler is a game for the horror jam. The game designer didn't give a dab a theme was supposed to be alien infiltration. The bonus themes were ignored, everyone. He brought on the voice actor, bad pun. Too bad he didn't know the game won't be fun. The indie developer dream is a sham. Just drop in your store assets bomb Really as surely as a fool But look in the mirror of pretender a tool Okay AI generated music is a shortcut A bunch ride in my musician's gut This is actually decent for AI I'll just say that. This is the future of making a game. Put in a prompt, make it lame. Learn from your official professor. Your robot girlfriend, it's easy to impress her. The indie okay. Okay, 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 I can't handle this. That was probably the best game I've played so far.